Welcome everyone. Tonight we're creating a video response um, to two comments. I'm going to combine them into one response because I think they are about the um, political climate here in the U.S. First question from Carol. Um, can Archangel Shamuel share any messages about safe, spiritual, and healthy town states to live in the U.S.? Mantras for us to reach our divine destiny and for seeing the spirit world and truly being connected to spirit. Many smiles and blessings. Any messages are welcome. Much love, Carol. And many smiles and blessings back to you. Those are always welcome in abundance. And I hope that tonight's cha channel will answer your question. The other one was from Christy who is asking about um, moving to Canada, I believe. So we're going to open up to channel and see what our beloved Archangel Shamuel has to say. So thank you all for watching. Namaste. And we'll open up. Thank you. My beloved children of Eve, now is the time that you should listen most to the heart. When the hysteria strikes and the mind becomes muddled in the possibility of what could be, should be, ought to be, never was, never will be. For longing within each of your souls is a thread of love. And eventually that thread will unravel and the confusion begins to set in. And the time of despair begins to hover over us as if a storm cloud has settled taking away the vision. A dark cloud of negativity has set over many of you. But my dearest children, hold fast to that thread of love which binds us all together each being sown directly from love. And when you're beginning to feel as if you're unraveling, becoming separate, falling away from that beautiful tapestry that God has created of all different shapes, colors, textures, fabrics. Then keep coming back to the innermost thread of love. Come back to your heart and there you will find the thread. And there are many practices to find your way into the heart center. Many mantras, many prayers. Many people who can guide you. And eventually you'll find your way. And through that you'll See the love that's all around you. You'll begin to settle in to the comfort. And that light from deep in the center of the thread <laughs> will begin to shine outward and shine through that cloud, shining love on everything that's within you and without you. 
and the perception will become clear again. While it's true that sometimes a location change can impact the immediate influence and make things seem a little bit easier, a little bit more unhindered. When you come through the darkness into the light of the heart, there will always be battle scars to work through. And it's these scars that start to put a damper on the light within, dampening our world so much that it seems dark and scary. But I beg of you, children, find the light within. Stay close to it. For truly this is God, the way to God, by God. When you're looking out into this forest and the light begins to shine, it may even hurt your eyes. It may be uncomfortable to see things in a new light. It may be contrary to the beliefs that your heart has hold, held on to. But children, if you're honest and your heart centered, you can come through any pain. And the pure light of love will shine ever more brilliantly into the world around you. In time, staying with your practices, Oh, I lost it. <laughs> Can't handle this pug. Let me try to jump back in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Loving my children is the only way into the heart. The only way to see from the heart the only way to experience the heart. So find the practices that bring you joy, that give you an expansive feeling around the heart center, that make you bubble up with laughter. Practices that expand the heart, the emotional body, so much that it may even move you to tears. These are the practices you must do to stay connected to the light so that eventually the light expands so much that you're totally encompassed in it and all you see is the light of love. And the problems of the world seems to get farther and farther away as you pull deeper and deeper into the light of love with God and connect with the light and love of God in all beings. So my children, it doesn't matter where you are or what practices you embody. It only matters that you find yourself within and by finding yourself within, you'll find the love of the universe.
all my love, all my blessings. And all the smiles of all the spirits are with you. Namaste.